Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel. Um, this is a February 2019 tarot reading. Um, so I've picked some cards for you and it looks like you've got quite an interesting month coming up. So what we've got first of all, first of all, congratulations because last month looks like you faced the devil. There was some big ego battle with yourself or someone else some challenge where you had to look this in the eye and meet it and deal with it. Um, but it looks like you, what you learned is that you can't fight the devil with more devil energy. You can't fight fire with fire, right? It doesn't work. So you've had to be in this process where you had to learn that no matter what the situation, what is going on, you have to step into this place of just offering love just giving love because whatever you're going to put out is just going to come back if you put out more aggression or more fire or more whatever it is this kind of toxic heavy difficult energy just going to come back to you so this is the, the process you've been through and what you've really learned is that breathe out I'm feeling like there's been some heavy breathing over the last month and you've got to breathe out and then just come back from a, a very more neutral, loving, centered space and you've had to really learn learn that, maybe the hard way you've had to learn that um, uh, and and how important it is for you to keep um, to keep balance, just to keep in, in your heart center. Not that you have to be really positive and really happy, but just just staying in your heart and just staying true to yourself. So well done. If that was your last month, then congratulations. I hope you got through it okay. And um, uh, this month, so this month, like the general kind of uh, thing that I can see is, is like there's some letting go that needs to kind of happen after this process. But there's also some uh, some love that wants to come into you. So I feel like you've you've been offering this and had to put this out, and it's like this is gonna gonna come back to you. And what, what, um, what we've got is your, your aspiration this month is um, uh, you, you are like, I am ready to receive, like I'm ready to be rewarded, to get my blessing from the universe or to get my inspiration from myself. The pentacle here tends to represent um, hopefully money. So it may be you're like, I need money. I want money. Like money is due to me. It's supposed to be coming in. I am ready and waiting for it. And this could be your, your kind of aspiration, your expectation this month. Um, and uh, so what's going to help you this month? What's going to help you achieve your, your dream of kind of receiving some kind of abundance? It's like something you really want. You want this if not like money, it can be this opportunity, like this doorway to kind of step through travel, a new home, new relationship, new circumstance, like this new practical, substantial, material thing is what you want. What's going to help you is being in control, staying strong, staying grounded, staying practical, staying really centered and balanced in your opinion because what your potential block is is over romanticizing like over idealizing like being a bit too often fairyland with it like and i have a sense of this a little bit from this cup energy from before as well as this you maybe have this tendency at the moment that you really you just like want everything to be peaceful or you just want like like some kind of like an almost like an easy kind of like an easy way you want an easy step and what what is you're being guided what I'm being guided to share with you is that yes of course you can have these kind of things but um it to start with you need to make sure you have solid foundation like a real strength of stability that you are building that on you know you can't just pour water into a, a sieve it's just going to disperse it's got to be a solid container so um I think just being aware of there maybe a little bit of 
fire. You may have a bit of fiery energy going on, a bit of like heated energy, a bit of emotion. And you've really got to like manage that, ground that, um, make that really solid. Um, and there may also be some processing, which I'll come to a little bit later. But it feels like that um, that being getting grounded is really important for you this month. Um, and and when you get grounded, when you kind of move on, let go of whatever you're holding on to from the past, then you can allow things in and, and they will stay. Um, I'm going to come to the specifics, actually. I'm going to go straight to the kind of um, the end because I feel like this is tying into actually the end of the, the spread, which is um, what, what you're actually being asked to focus on. So this is the Five of Cups where this figure here, this kind of cloaked figure, um, he, he kind of tends to dwell on the past and can be, you know, like, not crying over spilt milk because this is like, this is blood that's been spilled. It's like something worth grieving. There's something, you know, has collapsed. It, it's what, it's not a, a light thing. Um, but he's grieving over it, but he does have these cups here, which he can, he could focus on, you know, he's choosing to focus here. And when this comes up as in something to focus on or your guidance from spirit, which is this, this is coming in as now, it's like you need to grieve. You need to allow this process of um, releasing, purification, purging, like detoxifying. So that will be really good for you this month. Generally, that word detoxifying is going to be so important for you. Um, whether that is physically through um, through like health, like you know a, a kind of detox diet or um, juices, whatever it is, some kind of like food detox, or physically, so it might be working at the gym or um, uh, running or like something you know that's going to make you sweat and make you get rid of it. Sauna is really good, um, or steam room. Um, it helps you purify, especially an infrared sauna. They're very good for energetically releasing as well as physically detoxing energy from your body. Um, or just allowing yourself into your emotion, allowing yourself to cry, allowing yourself to be grumpy, be sad, stay in bed for the day. Um, like allow yourself that space this month. Um, because what like the, po the point of this month for you is letting go it's like letting go so you're still in this process of needing to release okay this this might not look like a ah, roses kind of thing but actually it's really important and really good because when you as I said when you let things go you allow in the new so in order to bring in your ace in order to bring in this light this doorway these flowers this kind of stuff you need to let go and Um, let's go into the little like specifics of what's going to go on a bit more. For um, for relationship and love, we have the King of Cups, which is a lovely card to get in, in relationship reading. This can be you or could be someone else. Uh, the King of Cups is this mature love. It's this stable, grounded, but also fun and playful. It's, you know, it's the absolute balance of um, relationship and mature love. It's um, either you are in this kind of strength, you know, can be in like a masculine energy. You can feel quite um, uh, protective or caring or like you are a kind of support, support in a kind of practical, strong way this month, especially with this emperor card as well, is this kind of masculine energy. This emperor card could actually be someone else as well. It could be that there is a, an older male father figure, a strong male, successful male who, who can help you this month with what you want to achieve and help you get there. Um, it can be a partner, it can be someone else, or it can be an aspect of yourself. Um, and again, so this could be you, could be someone else, could be someone else is coming in. If you're single, this is the potential for um, the king to arrive. I mean, I don't, I don't want to like... Um, I don't like, the reading is too much where I make too many predictions because, you know, every other reading is like, they're coming this month. But um, it's 
even if they don't come, it's like you're making space for them. Like you are, you are allowing by by grieving by letting go. You are allowing space for this energy to come in, for this support to come in, for this holding, this structure, the stability that you want. You're making space for it. So if it doesn't come up, don't worry. Just trust the process that that it's helping, that it's really helping. Um, or it could be maturing your own relationship into a really stable, secure, balanced, loving place. So this can be very, very powerful for you this month. In terms of work and career, we have the Page of Swords. And I'm feeling with this card today, so every time you know you pick a card up the deck, they can, or in combination with others, you get a different feeling. With this today, I'm feeling like I want to make you aware of your um, your mind and your words at work. So how, like what you're thinking, like the processes that are going through your mind about your work or career. Like what are you telling yourself? What is the story in your mind? And then what are you sharing with people? What are you saying to people? What are the words that are coming out? I feel there's a potential this month for you to kind of speak negatively about your work, either yourself or others or the work you're doing. There's a potential for words to slip that aren't really helpful. That can be a little bit cutting, a bit negative. And I think um, Spirit wants you to be aware of that and to, to practice this kind of um, emperor energy you know he's got a sword too but he's not rushing in this guy is like rushing in with his sword up with his like you know the clouds are all there he's ready for a fight and he's young he's a page so he's like a kid he's like he doesn't really know how to manage himself or manage his his feelings so much and what you're being asked to do is be the emperor and to really hold your sword you don't need to go in you've got it You've got your sword there, it's there by your side and it's ready if you need it. You don't need to like poke it in someone's face before it was straight away. So be aware, yeah, just be aware this month. You may want to say something, there may be some kind of conflict or some kind of something comes up where you just want to and um, don't do it. <laughs> Try not to do it. Um, Try and temper it a little bit. So, how? So, um, through like time. So, if if you receive some kind of criticism or you have these kind of feelings, give yourself time before you respond. Allow yourself to process those feelings. Give yourself as long as you can. If you can wait, you know, like a day, a week, whatever it is, like a few weeks, whatever it is. If it doesn't need to be urgent, then give yourself as much time as you can. If it's got to be, you know, fairly quick, just just try and like breathe, process, stay grounded, listen. Okay, focus on listening rather than listen. Just listen. Just listen, and just be like, thanks for sharing that. Okay, that's good to hear. Um, okay, I'm or. Oh. Just thank, thank you for sharing. I'll, I'll think about it. I'm gonna get back to you. I need, I need a, I need a bit of time to think about that. I'll get back to you straight away. Okay. Be the emperor. Health. Health. You may be like a bit like mm, having a bit of a mm, moment with your health, like what? A bit of a battle, a bit of an internal battle, like. Maybe you want to change something, do something, maybe some illness comes up and you want to improve it, you want to work with it and you may just have a kind of slightly uncomfortable sense. It may be connected to stress from the previous month or previous few months. I mean, this devil card could have been going on a while. Um, it was in your past. Um, so you may be battling with yourself like, like, I should be feeling better, yeah, okay, I should be feeling better, I should be, you know, flowers and roses, like, that's finished, or I've, I've worked through whatever, or that kind of thing, and you're like, 
I, I should be this and should be that. And you've got to allow, allow yourself to, if you don't feel good, just allow yourself not to feel good. Allow yourself to just sit in your muck a little bit, go into the underworld, go into your unconscious. You know, it, it can feel hard to do that, but you, you, um, you may need it. You may just really need it because otherwise it's like, you know, you can't polish a turd. Um, you've got to get the shit. The shit's got to come out first and then you can. So there may be something around that. Um, you, may be, you may just be feeling a bit low, a bit anxious. But because it's the wands, because it's the fire energy rather than a sword energy, I feel it's like physically you might feel tired. You might just feel really drained this month and just need to rest. And that ties in to what spirituality wants to bring in for you. So spirituality in your inner fulfillment, it it's like this love wants to come into you. This support wants to come into you. It wants to heal you, bless you, nourish you, drench you in these beautiful waters. This card is so beautiful. This is like divine love, pure, unconditional love really wants to come in and this can be your your you know a real blessing this month is your spirituality is your connection to source to your inner self whatever connects you so when I talk about spirituality or um aligning with energy that kind of stuff I don't mean you have to sit in meditation for an hour every day I mean do something you love like just enjoy yourself whether you like gardening or painting or exercising or walking in nature whatever it is whatever brings you that sense of play and fulfillment and like ah oh, yeah here I am I'm alive it's okay to be alive sleep it might be sleep it might be I just need to sit and watch tv for a day that can be a spiritual practice okay I, I don't discount anything as a potential spiritual practice you may just need to release and stop for a bit so um spirit's really asking you like let us love you let, let us like come in and hold you and and nurture you and look after you we want to offer you this okay um the other thing that wants to come in is what is this month about for you in terms of what are you learning and what's coming up is the sun the sun card i'm just going to tune in a minute to what this what I feel like this is for you. So I feel this is about optimism, about keeping yourself, that, that even if you're processing or letting go of things, not to let go of hope and not to let go of the, the good stuff. It's like a kind of balance this month I feel there's quite there's kind of quite a balance or a mix of feelings and energies it's like there's some really nice stuff wants to come in there might be some challenging stuff um you have to be really strong it's like um it's quite a mix I feel there's quite a mix going on for you and and your kind of learning is like, keep your eye on the prize, okay, here we go, the emperor, which you're being advised to focus on, um, to what's going to support, the emperor is what's going to support you, and the sun is what you're going to focus on, and you can see a similarity in the kind of colours, um, and this kind of structure, solidity kind of thing, um, so it's like, and the, the sun is also masculine energy, so it's really, th this is this is what you're learning for the month, this kind of being in this stability and strength, at the same time, allowing yourself space to breathe. Maybe, maybe you are balancing a few different things this month um, where you, maybe you need for work, maybe you have to kind of get on with things, you have to be doing things, but you 
you need to give yourself time as well. So it's balancing, like balancing work, health, life, everything. It's like balancing everything. And yeah, and, and spirit is like just do both. You need to you need to be strong. You need time, like with your time, you need time to kind of like plan, be organized, da 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 da. You need time to just let go and have time off. So balance both this month. Um and maybe Okay, so what I'm feeling with this card as well is then it's about being in a flow state. So not necessarily having to control, even though this is a very stable and strong practical energy, it's about being in flow and surrendering to the process. Just being in the process and moving between these different states. So the way you do that Together. The way you do that is having your hope, having your dream, having your vision. Don't feel like you're necessarily going to get to your vision this month. It's a process and you're in a kind of stage of, of getting towards it, of moving towards it. But know that this process is about getting there and that you will get to your prize and you will get what you need. But for now... Yeah, just, it's like, have your dream and let it go. Like, know your dream, feel your dream, set your intention, and then let it go. Let it go. And just get on with your life, whatever you need, moment to moment. And um, and if, you, if you're having a difficult time, you need to pick yourself back up. Just focus on your vision. Okay, I hope that was clear. There was quite a lot I felt in that reading today for you. Um, so if this makes sense to you, I'd really love to hear how that kind of fits into to what's going on with your life. And uh, thank you for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe, 2222, as I said that. And um, hope to speak to you again soon.